As we learned over the years, there are quite a few extremely talented people in the Sonic the Hedgehog fandom. From content creators, to crafters, to reporters, it's clear we get spoiled with the amount of Giga Chads that are into Sonic. But easily one of the most popular creations to come out of the Sonic fanbase are the many animations. Considering just how dedicated people are to Sonic, especially now, there's a ton of these that are oozing with charm. So much so that I've already made an 18 minute video about the matter. But even after all those I've mentioned there, there's still so many to talk about. Which is why today we're once again going to dive into the truckload of awesomeness that is Sonic fan animation. Animations. But before we start, if you haven't seen already, I made a merch store. We have many amazing designs for you to choose from, from shirts, to mugs, to a blanket because I f***ing can. Check the link in the description to go and pick up something so I can spend more money on Funko Sodas. Also, apparently only 28% of you guys watching right now are subscribed, which doesn't make any sense considering that subscribing is free, it takes one button, and it really does help the channel a lot, so if you can, just, just, just... Just go and subscribe right now. I had to take my retainer out to, to record this little section because, like, I can't talk. I sound I sound like that one episode of, of American Dad where Stan gets, like, the, the, like, braces on and he can't say Sweet Sally Struthers and it pisses him off. Uh, and yeah, I had to take out, I'm holding a, a saliva, I, I have in my hand right now a saliva infested retainer in my hand. I had to, I'm, this is, this is for you, I, I did this for you guys, so just please, just hit the button for the love of God. There's a ton to go through from the ones I missed, to ones that have sprung up since I made the last video. So let's dive right in, starting with easily the biggest exclusion from last time, Balana Productions. Starting all the way back in 2010, this channel is single-handed responsible for thousands of childhoods all across the world. Working with Gmod, Source Filmmaker, and Blender, Balana makes some of the most memorable stuff on the planet. Their catalog is full of great characters, hilarious writing, and funny as hell settings. For example, their most iconic series, Sonic Zombies. With 12 parts in total, it tells the story of the main Sonic cast during a zombie apocalypse, and well, confession time. I have never actually seen Sonic Zombies before making this video. I know, and I have to board up my windows after recording, but goddamn was I missing out. I haven't watched all of them for the sake of getting this video out, but from what I have seen, this is one solid series. This shit hits the bomb, plain and simple. The characters here are just fun to watch. They're all either over exaggerations of their characters or just something else altogether. Like Cream is Arnold Schwarzenegger, Silver is Goofy, Knuckles is Eddie Murphy, etc. Plus there's tons of moments where something unintentional happens like a camera falls over or a character knocks into something and they just kind of roll with it. Safe to say this thing's well worth the hype, but that's not even mentioning their other stuff, like Sonic in Jurassic Park or Jaws, which work way more than you'd think on first glance. And of course Sonic in Scared Stupid, a set of Halloween specials with Sonic and Tails that are pretty badass. That reminds me of the other thing about this channel that I love that's completely unintentional. Being that you get to see the evolution of Steven's animation skills. Like, Scared Stupid Episode 1 is from 2010 and is nothing more than the Gmod animatic, while Part 4 is this phenomenal Blender masterpiece with Batwife. It's just so fun to see this guy evolve after all these years. Plus, on top of that, Courtney SNT is hosting a reanimated collab for one of his old animatics, titled The OMG Most Reanimated Sonic Fanfic Idea Ever, which you can assume is extreme hype. Now, since the last video, you could assume there's been a ton of new animations that have popped up, and without a doubt, the dopest one is none other than Crushing 30s. Created by the Chocolatiers for Sonic's 30th anniversary, this is an animated music video depicting the Sonic cast when their best years are behind them. Gotta say, everything here is just immaculate. After the awesome recap of the past 30 years, you got Sonic as a chili dog delivery boy, while he's being married to nagging Amy. Tails with an office job, who I can only assume is grown-up Cream as a secretary, Knuckles as a construction worker, Big as a CEO, etc. The characters here are just so damn funny, even though they don't even talk. Plus, the animation itself here is just phenomenal. The expressions are top-notch, everything flows super nice, and there's a ton of little details planted all over, like Sonic accidentally hitting a car since he can't run as well anymore, the Rio 2016 medal, or the bottom of Sonic's shoe falling off, stuff like that. And if we perform the near-impossible task of moving on from the video, we get to the damn song, sung by the legend himself, Johnny Gioli. If it's right in with all the other Sonics he's done for the Sonic games, it's a total bop. They nailed it out of the park. Plus the name, Crushing 30s. Come on, that's clever. I'm not really a music critic, so I can't really critique it beyond, it sound good, <laughs> But I mean, I am 100% right all the time, so I mean, yeah, this is epic. Moving on, one that I stumbled upon since making the last video was the Russian animator, Diakitty. She's done a ton of animations over the years, with my personal favorites being the ones where they're animated versions of Tomska videos, with Bite Me, The Hole, and The Orb. Given how the originals are hilarious, now having Sonic characters in them just makes them even funnier. Like, Shadow being Tom just works so damn well since he has such a monotone voice. Should we call the police or something? Oh yeah, I called the police, yeah. Well, where are they? And in the hole. 
Plus, almost everything's been turned into its Sonic equivalent in these, like a dog being turned into Whisper, all the different monsters in Bite Me being Sonic versions of them, or the cat that gets turned into a mug being big. Speaking of cats, though, she's a pretty huge Blaze fan, as you can tell from her channel, which led her to make the video of Blaze Rickrolling. It's incredible, as you can imagine. After her, we get to a really cool duo made by Rain Saru. First, there was this one that was made as an animated version of the audio in Sonic and Tails R. This one's really cool, since I'm sure when everyone listened to it, they had different ideas of what was happening in their head, so it's cool to see how they thought it went in their interpretation of it, via funny expressions and a really cool style. Then there's this one that's once again putting animation to already existing audio, with Knuckles saying a line that Idris Elba said in the Cats movie. Yes, that one. But the expressions are really nice in this one, and Knuckles is just so damn happy in it. But yeah, not really much else to say about these, just really nice. Also, Knuckles sitting on a big statue is appreciated. Next up, we get to one of my personal favorites, Toon Sight Animation. They mostly do reanimates of audio, like those Die Kitty ones we looked at, but these are all in 2D. And gotta say, I absolutely love the animation in these. It's all done in an anime style, and it just looks so appealing. Like, the shading and expressions all look really unique compared to the other stuff we looked at. It reminds me a lot of Sonic X. Plus, I gotta say, the audio used in here is just hilarious and works so well with Sonic characters. Like the one with Gumball and Darwin as Sonic and Tails. The one where Knuckles and Shadow think Amy's pregnant, so they... <laughs> It's a tad disappointing though, since a lot of these are in Spanish, so I can't understand what the hell they're saying. Though they actually are going back and dubbing some of the ones they have made in Spanish. Absolute Giga Chad moment, now I can understand what the hell this meant. Claramente, Sony, ¿quién más podría hacer? Moving on, we've got a ton by Pedro or Raggio. What he does is he takes classic Sonic games and scenes and turns them into animations, and they're just so cool. Like, he's done full-on animations for Mania, Sonic 1, 2, CD, 3, and Knuckles. And while the animation here doesn't reinvent the wheel or anything, these are still really cool. I really like how the backgrounds are drawn to look like the levels at a different camera angle, so you can see more of the terrain. Really makes it feel like these are true 3D versions of the Genesis games. But even after those, he's made a ton of other Sonic animations. Like, for example, this Sonic 3-inspired one with Sanic and Uganda Knuckles, which is peak fiction as you can assume. Shadow and Rouge in Sonic Mania, a Sonic 2 trailer reanimate, Sonic and um one with Amy and Rosa from Pokemon Black and White, and many more. Now on to someone we talked about in the last video, Pringus McDingus. Since last time, he's made two more Sonic animations, firstly being Knock Knock, which is a reanimated the house fight scene in Sonic 2. However, here instead of throat sliming Sonic into a tree, he instead... And then there's You What, you where it's what? taken audio from the show Community, but with Sonic characters. For one thing, the expressions in this are just really good, as is the standard in Pringus videos. And for another, for being a literal 6 second video, there are a ton of little details. Like the book on the table being the 25th anniversary art book, Cream's juice box having the Mighty and Ray missing ads, or Knuckles' decapitated head in the background from the movie. For how short these are, Mr. McDingus truly gives it his all. After those, we get to one that's quickly become one of my personal favorites, basically the Sonic movie. Made by Patch Tunes, this is a comedic behind-the-scenes story of the original Sonic movie. And oh my god, is this sh hysterical. Done in five parts, each one's even funnier than the last. The first episode has Robotnik fighting OG Sonic in the movie, but he's using an Oculus for some reason. <laughs> then Sonic gets his redesign and Jim Carrey locks Sonic up and dresses up as him so he can play both parts. Then Sonic and Tails have to chase down Jim Carrey in his car from Dumber and Dumber. Then there's this. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Bet you guys can't smell what I'm cooking. That's right. Fajitas. My place. 10 o'clock. Wanna hang out? Plus there's this running joke of the narrator's wife leaving him and him being depressed and it's all so funny. <laughs> Plus, beyond the flawless writing, this is just some great animation. It's super cartoony with the expressions and character designs. Reminds me a lot of an old Harabarbana cartoon at times. And Sonic and Tails look great here, too. I think he did a really good job translating their designs into 2D, especially with their fur. Hell, he even made OG movie Sonic look good here. I thought the scientific community had deemed that an impossibility, but here we are. But yeah, this one's an all-time great. Also, just a side note, I've seen this shot of Tails before and had no idea where it came from, but now I do. Now, just like last time, before we get on to another type of animation I want to bring up, let's just go through some I wanted to mention but didn't have all too much to say about. Starting with a short called The Search by Renan, which just has Gamma and Emerald Coast jumping around, but the movements in here are incredible. Like, the way he bounces around really makes him seem alive. This is some Pixar quality stuff. Plus, Froggy at the end's pretty nice. Sonic Funeral, an absolute classic by Antunes. This one goes from funny to laugh at to kind of messed up towards the end. I don't know, I always just found it way funnier than I probably should have as a kid. Then there's just one that's kind of an animation called Stardust Savior, made by Shinjitsu84. It's got this 3D art of movie Sonic carrying away a movie Amy from movie Metal Sonic. I really like Amy's design here, it really fits with the whole futuristic city thing they're going for, but her, her fucking face. And then Metal Sonic. 
Then we get Sonic Long Leg Sad Origin Story 2. Then there's an animatic of scenes from the show Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but with Sonic characters by Duig and Swift. I've never seen or heard of this show before, but gotta say the audio with the Sonic characters works really well and it made me happy. And you'll be happy to know that he punched me in the face several times. That does make me happy. And finally, this one I found called 24 Fun Ways to Kill Sonic the Hedgehog by Aiden David Animations. It's a kind of cursed one where Eggman obliterates a ragdoll Sonic in several ways. He gets crushed, blended, put in a microwave, etc. Turning into this weird blobby Sonic or just a flat out pile of goo. Extremely odd. And that's it for those. Once again, there was some truly amazing stuff here. Great writing, great animation, and oh so memorable. But you may be thinking, what else is there to talk about? We went over 2D, 3D, what's left? 4D. Oh, it's one type I overlooked in the first video, stop motion. There are a ton, and I mean a ton of these out there for a very fair reason. I mean, basically anyone can make one of these. All you need is a sonic figure and a camera, no art degree needed. And because there's so many out there, I'm just gonna say it right now, this is nowhere near a comprehensive list. Just ones that I thought were worth mentioning were my personal favorites. So if I miss out on Ultra Super Mega Sonic Adventure 69, I'm sorry. But anyway, let's just get right into it. Starting with what's easily the most iconic Sonic Stop Motion series, Sonic Stop Motion Adventures. Starting all the way back in 2009 by the legendary Piplup fan 77 the 27-part series has been ingrained into countless heads of Sonic fans over the years. The show follows the Jazzers figures as our main cast, who have some pretty pog adventures. Now, I'm not as versed in this series as I probably should be, but I've seen a few of the episodes, so I can give my input on the basic stuff. Like, the characters here aren't anything too different from what they are in the games. Like, Sonic's a jokester but knows when to be serious, Shadow's not a complete dick, Knuckles has more than two brain cells, Eggman gets put in jail, plus the show's got a ton of original characters, like Jack, Dash, and most importantly, the series' big antagonist, Bedlam. He's got an awesome design that's kinda reworked from Shadow, but is insanely cool. And he's got a dope personality that lets him shit talk, but also be intimidating, unlike Baby's first villain over here. And plus, the production quality here is amazing. Each character's got a full-on animated face and power effects. There's a ton of voice actors, including people like Emmy Jones and Pat Man, and the environments here are really well done. Like, for being made out of stuff like cardboard, this stuff works super well and looks really fun. And I love how some set pieces are just made using kind of random crap. Like, Dale's invention here uses a Lego piece and Christmas lights. And the ending here was pretty wholesome, too. It really felt like the conclusions of this series have been going on for nine whole years. Though Eggman's still in jail. Next up are some more classics, but this time for another generation. Being the animations made by Sonic Toast. Considering he was one of the first Sonic tubers, Sonic Toast made a bunch of old animations back in the day. Like, for example, his first one, being Why Does Sonic's Butt Hurt? In which Sonic retraces his steps from the day and tries to figure out why his butt hurts. And I gotta say, for being just toilet humor and randomness, this one holds up pretty well. The humor's just so simple and primitive. Like, at its core, it's nothing more than a modern Nickelodeon cartoon, but manages to pull it off. Then you got others like Sonic's Christmas special, where a human on planet Earth actually found a use for their Saurus Rave 2 skiing Sonic figure. Sonic and Mario, a little series where Mario has to get Sonic to join Nintendo after the Dreamcast failed, which is only like five years before this video came out, dear lord. Or the new Sonic the Hedgehog show, a pretty funny episodic series It's kind of like why does Sonic's butt hurt in terms of comedy, but it's got all types of different characters too, which all fall in line with the series' tone. And it's so neat to see these old recordings just exist in their time. Like, it's so cool to see these animations that avidly use stuff like the Rosaurus, Toy Allen, and Joyride figures. Super unique. After him, though, we get to another Chad in the stop-motion scene, being Lifeline the Hedgehog. He's done a ton of animations for over a decade now, so safe to say he knows his stuff. Starting with a series in 2012, Speed Stories, an episodic series that's still going on to this day. It's pretty neat, with a ton of non-Sonic characters like Majin Buu, an anime lady, Combat Carl, and you gotta say, Shadow's an absolute badass in this thing. Like, he's f***ing real. But anyway, after that, he's hosted not one, not two, but three collabs with all of their different stop-motion channels. Firstly, with Sonic Stop Motion Collab 2 Battle for Sonic's 29th anniversary, which consists of tons of random clips and skits from people we'll get to shortly. Like, they have no correlation to each other, they're just random as hell. I love the one with the Sonic Forces monster wreaks havoc on the city and Sonic tries to kill himself, it's fantastic. Then a year later, for Sonic's 30th anniversary, we got another huge collab, simply titled Sonic Stop Motion Collab 30th Anniversary, which is overall the same concept, but it's just as good, if not better, than last time. Like, the last ones are great and all, but this one's got... HA! Now, let's get serious. <laughs> Truly a step up in my books. And finally, right after that, we got one of the coolest stop motions I've ever seen, being the multi-dimensional crossover. It's a five-minute short that begins with Sonic on his last legs about to meet Maria when all of a sudden even more Sonic show up via the Phantom Ruby. But more specifically, Sonic's from all different channels and series, like a Restore Sonic by Sonic Toast, Sonic with the mark on his hand from Piplup Fan, etc. Plus a ton of other versions of Sonic, like Hello Kitty Sonic, Lego Sonic, The Werehog, and more. And it all ends pretty wholesomely, with all the Sonics going home, insert no way home joke here. Such a cool idea, glad we got to see all these people collaborate in this dope-ass battle. Massive props to everyone here, this was phenomenal. Next up we got to someone with some of the 
the most talent I've seen, Fox Mation. Along with reviews and such, he's made a ton of Sonic animations, like for example his original series Sonic Classics. It's a pretty simple show with the characters not even talking in the second season of it. However, it's still really cool and without a doubt this man put his all into making these, mainly in the sets and craftsmanship. Like god, this stuff's incredible. From using stuffing as smoke and steam, to making clay Tomy skill figures, to building a full-on Death Egg robot out of random materials, this stuff truly deserves a W. Like, this man does a great job using what he's got. Like how this Eggman ship looks like it's a stick of butter or something. I didn't mean, like, an actual stick of butter. I mean, like, those, like, things you put butter in to, like, push it off of, like, to, to push the butter onto, like, corn and, and stuff. I, I'm not, I'm not that stupid. I, what? Okay, but now looking at it, it doesn't look like... The butter thing, it, it looks like a miniature trash can with a lid or something. What the hell is this? Or this magnifying glass robot that looks really cool, TBH. And it got even better in another series of his, Sonic Origins Stop Motion. Which is exactly as it sounds, a stop motion remake of scenes from the first four Sonic games. While they aren't that long, they're jam-packed with dope visuals and great animation. Like for example, he mainly uses a Jack's 2.5 inch classic Sonic. However, he'll take off his body parts and use ones from other figures in order to make him more versatile. Plus the same techniques like the stuffing are still here. And now that Jax has more characters, he can use like an actual Eggman or a Death Egg and such. And even beyond those, he made a few more videos. Like for example this one for Frontiers, which uses LEGO to make the game's unique new enemies. This channel's awesome, a mainstay for sure. Moving on, we got this recent one by Roostifer titled Sonic No Way Home. As you can guess by the title, it's a parody of No Way Home. Specifically the scene where the three Peters are arguing during the final battle. With Game Sonic, Movie Sonic, and Boom Sonic. It's really funny, with the three Sonics acting like siblings just like in the movie. And speaking of, the script is pretty much the same. However, everything's been changed to it and made it Sonicified. Like how instead of Sandman around them, it's the Storm from Perfect Chaos. And instead of being in the Avengers, Sonic mentions how he was in Sonic Heroes. Or instead of saying to trust their Peter Tingle, they all say to trust their cut runny nose thing that Sonic was supposed to have in the Genesis games. It's all great, and the animation's pretty great too. Considering the figures used don't have much articulation. This one's great. After that one though, we get to another masterpiece, being Eggman Wins by Dark Lord Pikachu. This one's pretty simple, being the reactions of Eggman and his robots when Sonic gets killed. But man, is this one hilarious. First, Eggman's meeting is treated more like a business meeting. Then Sonic dies because he was looking at his phone. Which, by the way, this scene's pretty funny out of context. <laughs> oh man, that is hilarious! <laughs> Then Eggman sings when he finds out. And finally, Sora Chris tries to kill Sonic and is f***ing great. Hell, even the end screen is hilarious. I love how improvised it is. Good luck on your math test tomorrow. We all believe in you. And as you can tell, this animation here was done extremely well. It's got a lot of effects on characters' eyes and mouths to make them seem more real, and it works great. This one's amazing. So stupid, yet so cool. Now, in terms of stop motion, I don't think there's another one more popular than good old Lego. So as you can tell, there are a hefty amount of Lego Sonic ones out there. Like for one, the Sonic movie in three and a half minutes by Ed Bound. This one's pretty self-explanatory, being a comedic recap of the first film in brick-built form. And it does a great job. There's a ton going on here, so much so there's practically no point where there's not a character talking. Plus it's overall just pretty funny. It honestly really does feel like it's just some random kid playing with Legos and recreating the whole thing. With random gags and things just kinda happening. And speaking of, the Lego building here is pretty intuitive. Like he actually went and gave Sonic blue arms, which wasn't really needed but was done anyway. Or for example using blue bricks to simulate motion blur when Sonic runs, cool stuff like that. And the animation's great too. It's super bouncy and does a great job of making it feel more cartoony and childish. Pretty pog. And after that, I wanted to bring up another animation Edbound did, called I Don't Think That's Sonic. It's very, very weird starting with your generic Eggman telling the city they belong to him, when this random dude dressed as Sonic comes and he's just kind of there. And after taking a bullet to the head, he bashes Eggman's skull in. It's really f***ed up to be honest, I don't really know how to describe this thing really. It's just like a mini horror film, dear god. And finally, there's one more thing I wanted to bring up, as it's in my opinion one of the coolest Sonic animations we've seen since the last video. What else but Sonic Adventure 2 Reimagined, hosted by a crux Con. This is a full-on retelling of SA2 story animated by over 50 people to live and learn. This is without a doubt one of the coolest videos on the entire internet. Every scene here looks absolutely incredible, they're all bangers. From 2D to 3D, it's fantastic. Each one has a pretty distinct art style too, like I love Shimmero with his breathtaking 3D, or Ryan Lego with their great expressions and art style, or Hell Modi out here looking like Tyson goddamn Hess. And even after that, there's an entirely remade version of the final scene from the game complete with voice acting and full-on new animation. While the credits roll, an emotional song plays, and everyone's avatars scroll by the screen, and you're crying. And it all ends with the iconic phrase, and one final image of Shadow. Goddamn, this thing is just... It's just... Everything here is absolutely amazing. Everyone involved with a three-year-long production of this thing put nothing but their heart and soul into it, and it shows. I honestly don't even know what else to say besides... It's a masterpiece. I mean, there really isn't much to say considering that there's nothing wrong with it. But yeah, truly a masterpiece that'll be loved by Sonic fans for the next hundred years. And that's another look at some of the best and coolest Sonic fan animations on the planet. 
just like last time, this here is nothing but proof that the Sonic community is jam-packed with talent and passion for this spiky f**k. And while it can be pretty moronic sometimes, I'm still a proud member of this community, despite its flaws. But anyway, that's it for me, I guess. Go buy my merchandise, or I will sell your home to a rabid Kmart employee.